the euro USD. Now, before we start analyzing the euro USD, I just wanted to mention to my friends and followers here that Extreme Trader is mainly a forex educational channel. Of course, we're helping analyzing the market, but we are mainly teaching forex here. So, if I just want to make signals blindly and just leave it as it is, I will just make one five minutes video for the whole pairs and I will just give you the signals and close it. That is not the case here. I am here sharing with you my knowledge and sharing with you the way I'm analyzing the market. Therefore, if I'm giving you a signal to buy the euro USD at certain point and tell you that the price level or the take profit level can be on the certain point you don't have to follow it like robots I don't want that I don't want you guys to be uh, trading blindly that is not what we want here I want everyone to be aware that there are some marketing news there are some economic news there are political news and a lot of things that can change the market at any point and you need to be aware about the uh, about these things we want to build a group of traders here we want to build um, we want to every, we want we want everyone to achieve their dreams to become real traders that's why I'm just helping here as much as possible doing this analysis and taking from my time here now for example I gave the signal the last week for the euro USD to buy at the level 1.11118 and thankfully uh, this signal has worked perfectly even after the pullback and the retest on the second attempt of the support the market kept going up here but on Friday, there was some news that changed the market and that we can see that the euro is the reverse before touching the take profit level, which has pissed off some of the followers. That is really bad. I mean, you guys were going in profit of almost 60 pips of profit. Uh, you should be able to read the candles. You should see that we have here a resistance level. We had here a resistance. We had here a resistance level. We had here a resistance level as well. Just setting the take profit level at certain point doesn't mean that you should literally stick to it. Also, you should analyze the market yourself. We are doing some analysis here, hoping that the market will respect these levels. However, that is not the case because, for example, what happened here uh, last Friday? There was some good news for the US dollar and US housing starts surged uh, last month to highest in 13 years. That actually moved the Dow Jones uh, stocks market and increased the um, the power. I, I don't want to. I don't know how to say it, to be honest with you. Uh, it just ga gained a lot of strength to the US dollar, which has led the the Euro USD to start falling at this point. That's why we see this major fall or this uh, really strong fall of the uh, euro USD it, it has moved because of the strength of the US dollar so again please pay attention to the news it's very important to know what's going on and do some analysis by yourself I'm here doing the analysis and I want you guys to do the same so you'll be able to analyze by yourself in the future so anyway sorry for the long speech uh, let's go directly to the analyzing of the euro USD so on daily candles what is that what was that what was that okay so on daily candles what we can see on daily candles is the pair has reversed from this resistance level so we can see that we had here a resistance level and we have here a, a lot of a, a resistance attempts on the uh, below level of that resistance and we can see that the euro USD has reversed also exactly on that resistance so what do we see as what do we see as well we can see here a pattern of head and shoulders that's nice it means that the euro usd most likely right now is gonna fall down the question is where can we start shorting the euro usd no let's see let's go back to the four hour chart after after going to the daily candles now we are sure that the euro usd seems to be falling down so now we know the direction we know we are heading for now we need to go to the four hour chart to find the entry point that is the whole idea you need to find the direction on the market on the bigger time frames then get your entry level on the smaller time frames now what we see on the four hour chart is we have here a strong support level it was almost a support number one because the market had a resistance here and kept moving onward all right so after this resistance became a new support level 
we can see the attempt of here of the euro usd to create a support number two and this price action for the euro usd on the four hour chart this price action indicating a possible a possibility of a bullish reversal now we can expect for the euro usd to actually make a reverse in my expectation the euro usd is gonna be good for short at this resistance level because here we have a resistance level which was also a resistance right here it kept the position as well and it became here a support level that's why i believe the euro usd should be really good for the short on the level here let me just write it for you let's just mark it first and like that perfect yes i'm satisfied with this one so let's see we can start shorting sell wait a second guys i just screwed up here all right all right okay so sell on the level actually it is a little bit higher than that i will make it sell on the level 1.11200 that is actually more reasonable level to start shorting the euro usd just exactly on it just like that yeah okay good we are good so uh, before we just uh, confirm this signal uh, just check on the left to find if there was any stronger resistance level below or uh, higher than that so let's go to the left i can see already that here we have a resistance level let's keep that in mind because it is uh, lower than the entry point i gave uh, we can see right here so let me tell you something this analysis is accurate however still needs some modification because on the left i don't see really that strong resistance level and the line the resistance line is not really aligned with the resistance levels on the left so let me drag this line a little bit like that on this resistance level here because that is a key resistance that is a key resistance level so now let's move back to the left and we can see that this line actually makes more sense we can see here it was a strong support level and here it was a resistance let's go more to the left we can see here as well it was a good resistance level and right here and right here so after adjusting my resistance line i okay look at that even the support level here is stronger now the point i wanted to mention here that when you do some analysis based on support and resistance it's always good to check the past to find the strongest levels now uh, checking the current date or the present show me that the this resistance level here is strong is really strong and we can and what i did here is i just set my tech profit uh, sorry, i set my entry point based on that level without being uh, really accurate without looking at the left i mean i don't know how to say it let me just leave it anyway uh that's will be our signal for selling or shorting the euro usd let me just uh, tell you how far it's gonna go i believe it's gonna fall really for a long time i mean let's see uh that can be our tech profit level let me just uh exactly like that because if I set the tech profit level to be at the absolute support here, uh, the candle might reverse before reaching this, the tech profit level. So uh, we can look for almost uh, almost 100 pips of profit from trading uh, the euro USD signal. And again, uh, keep your eyes, guys, on the news. Whatever happened can change everything. This is purely technical analysis and can be changed at any moment, at any given uh, news or feedbacks or updates from the market always keep your eyes on the economic news guys that's really important so in the end that is the analysis for the euro usd and i hope it's gonna work out and i wish everyone a good week